Hello everyone, it's the Breit. Um, today I wanted to show the uh, Mutsu water looper that I just got in, or I guess as the US version is called, Mutsu the Curious Little Fish. Um, these came out around 2000 to 2001. Uh, this is a US version, the um, which you can see Mutsu back there, he's blue. In the Japanese version, he was pink. And there's a second edition where they're more of a round bowl shape. So what's neat about this uh, particular pet is you actually fill the bottom with water up to the little water line. So let's see if I can do this by holding the camera and pouring it in at the same time. Okay. So he's got a little switch over here to turn him on, but I notice that he doesn't really do anything until you hit one of the buttons. Now he reacts to sounds, light, and the feeding buttons. Which, one of the feeding buttons is a fish, and I thought that was kind of weird because, you know, I guess he looks kind of a little too cute to be eating f another fish, but oh well. He also can eat um, a worm or a grasshopper. So, let's see if he'll want to come out for a worm. I don't know, he's shy. This is the microphone, so sometimes if I don't want to, like, talk to him, like, you know, constantly be jabbering, I'll just kind of rub my finger across it and he'll react to it. Now, when you first turn him on, he'll be shy and he won't want to come out. Um, I haven't reset him. He, I've been playing with him for a little bit, so he'll probably come out sooner than if I first just started him up. The reset button is right here. You just stick something down in it like any other pet. But let's see if he'll... Oh, here he comes. He's visiting with his little friend here. Oh, and it's great entertainment for your cats. <laughs> and unfortunately, sometimes he gets stuck. <laughs> but um, you're interested in that, aren't you? He's making all kinds of noises today. Let's see if he wants another worm. I don't think so. Now, if he's full, he won't react to the buttons, the food buttons. Oh, but it looks like I made him pretty happy. Oh, his coral's off. These come off the little coral, and I guess this is supposed to be a seaweed. And then there's this weird little, like that little piece there, for some reason comes on and off. I don't know what the purpose of it being there is, because you don't really ever see it, but he rubs up against it. I, I don't know. It's it's kind of weird, but it's really cute. And he just, he swims around a lot. And like when he swims around constantly like this, it means that he's happy. Um, sometimes he'll start making noises and um, you can kind of tell he's hungry. I don't know. You have to listen for him. And he'll also, when it's dark out, he'll turn on his little light, because you'll see the little light that's turning green. And um, a lot of times when the lights will go out, he'll turn on, it's like orange. And it's, I notice when he's kind of, he's asking for something, I think it turns orange. It's kind of hard because the instructions are actually not very good. Like, they don't give a whole lot of information. Um, but I will have those posted below the video and also on the website if you guys want to reference that. Um, it looks like, sometimes I notice that he, his little ear thingies get caught on stuff. It's like they made him too big. Honey, you're kind of in the way. <laughs> okay, let's see if he'll eat a grasshopper. Oh, he's going to do something. Did you get caught again? Let's see. Uh-oh, he's dancing. Well, he was dancing. <laughs> That's what I always think of whenever he does that. Oh, I think he's supposed to be over here with his friend. So sometimes he gets stuck. Sometimes he doesn't. It really depends, I think, on the, the angle that he's at. But still, it's really cute. I've had him swim in circles for like a good hour just by himself and occasionally him reacting to me saying something or rubbing on this part. And uh -oh, here he goes on his rounds again. It's really entertaining. Um, I really like it. It's something really cute to have. 
Um, especially, I really wish I could take it to work and have it on my desk at work, but that'd be kind of loud in the office. But um, I, I really do highly suggest this. I managed just to pick this up used on eBay for a hundred. Um, I've seen these go anywhere up to two hundred, two hundred and fifty dollars. So if you see one, I do highly suggest getting one. Um, just make sure that the seller does say that it works because I have heard of other friends having them and they'll just go in circles and they don't really do anything or react to any of the buttons. So just make sure that, you know, the seller says that it does work. Um, cause I, I think they, these might have a tendency to short out. Now, it shouldn't short out from the water at all because this plastic piece is solid and there's no like there's no holes nothing that's that makes it possible for the water to get down into this electronic base. So that's one really cool thing that cuz I was kind of afraid of that when I first saw it I'm like well how do they keep it protected but since it all uses magnets and everything that's how it works. Um but it is they do have a lot of interesting ones I think he got caught again. Oh no, he didn't. Um, but they make like a turtle and like a dog and uh, I'm not really sure why they think that's good to have them in water, but <laughs> it's still really cute. So I'm definitely going to keep my eye on the other versions of these because they're really cute. But I just thought I'd show you guys this real quick. I thought you guys would enjoy it. So um, stay tuned. I'll have more videos coming up hopefully soon. Thanks, guys.